Hello guys, in this video I want to explain why I personally don't like enum fields in the database on the database level. And I have this example from one of my code reviews. There's a field called status for the orders, which is fine. And then there are potential values, possible values for the status, which is fine. But enums are not flexible enough. So what if, for example, you want to change something in the value? So for example, even now I see that the developer made a typo. So it's not review vid, it should be reviewed, right? It was even underlined by PHP storm. So you cannot change that in the migration directly. You need to make a new migration to change those enum values. Same thing if you want to add a new value. So for example, reviewed, processing, dispatch, delivered, failed, and for example, canceled or something like that. A new value also requires a new migration. So basically any change of the values of that enum is a potential database migration. And then database migration on live data is a potential risk that something may go wrong with the migration. Some old data may be inconsistent and stuff like that. Another thing, what if you want those things to be multi-language, so translator, so that user on their dashboard would see the order not as reviewed, but in some other language, depending on their settings or something. So then you need to define the translation somewhere attaching to those values somewhere in the config, and it's not really flexible. So if your column potentially in the future has a probability of change, you should not use enum on the database level. And instead, it's a better way to have a separate table. So for example, you create a table statuses, then seed all those statuses for now as texts in the statuses name, and then in the order, replace the enum with table foreign ID to status ID constraint, something like that. Of course, if you make that in the middle of the project with live data, you would need to migrate the data. So from those, you would need to fill in the status and that column would mean the latest status. But if you have statuses as a separate table, it also allows you to have history. So a pivot table, another pivot table of order status. So for example, order was first reviewed, then dispatched, then accepted, stuff like that. So order with status, with timestamps, and then in the model, in the eloquent model order, you would have belongs to many with timestamps. So for some cases, you would need the latest status, which you would get from order status ID. But if in some case on order details page, for example, you need the history, then you go order statuses with belongs to many and get all the history. So then the question becomes, when should you use enums? Enums are okay if there's a field which actually will never change. Something like, I don't know, in Casino Roulette, there are red and black colors and they won't ever change. The rules of the games are strict. Or, I don't know, traffic lights color red, yellow, and green. I'm pretty sure they are the same in all countries of the world. So something really static that wouldn't change, like gender, for example, or something like that. Then you could use enum and it may be even more readable than from the migration point of view. But if you have, as I said, the probability of changing the values, I would advise to have a separate table with a foreign key. What do you think? Did you have any cases where you had to change enum to foreign key or vice versa? Or on the contrary, maybe you have a case where enum is really good fit. So share your experience in the comments and see you guys in other videos.